Good day. Welcome to Shasun online special lecture series. This is Dr. Deepa from the Department of English. Today I am going to deal with the topic nonverbal communication body language. What is body language? It is termed as the conscious and unconscious movement and postures by which feelings and attitudes are communicated. Body language communicates 7% verbally that is through the conveyed words, 38% vocally through the intonation, passes, pitch etc. and 55% non-verbally that is through body language. Body language can be classified into 3. Kinesics is the scientific study of body movements which is accompanied through verbal communication. This includes facial expression, gesture, posture and stance. Haptic communication is the branch of non-verbal communication which is communicated through the sense of touch. It includes handshakes, a pat on the shoulder, folding hands, etc. Next, let me deal with the five aspects of body language, eye contact, facial expression, gestures and postures, stance and space relationship. Firstly, eye contact. What is the purpose of an eye contact? It authenticates the spoken information of the speaker. It tells us whether the listener is attentive and interested in the topic and it invites and controls the interaction. It can dominate, threaten or influence people and it can also provide us feedback during the speech and it can reveal attitudes of the people. Next, I am going to deal with gestures. A gesture is a form of non-verbal communication made with a part of the body used instead of or in combination with verbal communication. The language of gesture is rich in ways for individuals to express a variety of feelings and thoughts. As we all know, face is the index of mind. A face can express many things. A face can speak happiness, sadness, displeasure, anger, fear, interest, etc. Postures and stances also makes an important aspect in an effective communication. In our day-to-day -day life, we use many postures and stances which might miscommunicate what we intend to tell. Finally, to wrap up how to make an effective communication, few things are very important. Let me reiterate all the points once again. Eye contact at regular intervals, facial expression, head movements, gestures, postures, proximity, body contact, appearance and physique, timing and synchronization. Hope you understood the concept of nonverbal communication. We will meet in the next session. Thank you.